Okay, so we're going to uh, try to tackle these questions here. So what I want you to notice is that they've given us a kind of a formula here. It says next year's number equals 1.43 times current number. We've got to find the percentage increase each year. Um, explain why the number of holes is an exponential function of time. And then we've got to get a formula. And then we've got to figure out how many internet domains we had in the year 2005, okay? So um, so let's start out with doing this. Uh, we'll do year, and we'll do number of internet um, domain hosts, right? Or to make it simpler in our minds, we could just think number of websites, okay? But the year, 1995 they tell us there were 8.2 million and we'll remember that means that's 8.2 million okay internet domain hosts okay uh, what I want you to do is figure out how many there were in the year 1996 so I want you to write this do this little uh, table here and tell me how many there were in 1996 so go ahead and press pause on the video and see if you can figure this out yourself Okay, I hope you press pause in the video and try it. I'm going to do it with you now. So, 1996, that's the next year. And we have this little formula here. It says next year's number equals 1.43 times the current number, right? So, um, so we go, next year's number 996 is uh, 1.43 times the current number, which is 8.2. Plug that in the calculator, and what do you get? Press pause, put it in the calculator. Press pause if you need to, but you should get, you know, 11.726. Okay, which by the way, that's in million. So I'm just going to say that's approximately 11.7 million, right? Or as a number written out, it would look like this. Sorry. Right? About 11,700,000 approximately, right? Okay, so that's the... 1996, we get 11.726, okay? So can you figure out what it would be for 1997? Press pause and figure out 1997. I know we're not answering the questions directly, but this table is helping us to answer questions six, seven, and eight in the book, the textbook questions, right? So press pause and do it, I'll do it with you now. So we go, next year's number is 1.43 times the current number. So we could go 1.43 times 11.726. That would be one way of doing it. So on my calculator, I can just, I've already got 11.726 here. I'm gonna press times and it'll go answer times. Then I go 1.43 and I get this 11 or 16.76818, 16.76818. Okay, and just to remind ourselves, you know, that's approximately um, 16.8 million, right? Or we could write that, you know, approximately 16, um, again, remember it's in million, so it's approximately, it's almost 17 million, right? So that's one way of working it out, right? There's another way, and, and the way I, I want you to learn is, look, you can start with the very st first number, right, 8.2, okay? And he times that by 1.43 to get the next year's number, which is 11.7, or sorry, which is, yeah, 11.7. And then you can times it by 1.43 again, which will give you your 16.8. So this essentially is 8.2, you know, times 1.43 squared, isn't it? Because it's 1.43 times 1.3, so it's 1.43 squared. So after, and remember this is, two years later look at that two years later this is one year later 19, but 1997 is two years later and here's the two see that see how it matches up right so just for fun now we, on our question it asks us to do like you know 2005 but like what would it be in the year 2000 can you press pause and get the answer okay if you need a hint if you need a hint how many years past 95 is that it's five years later, isn't it? So if I do 8.2 times 1.43 to the power of five, 
to the power of 5, that's going to give me the answer, isn't it? So watch. 8.2 times 1.43 to the power of 5. And that's, you know, 49.033. That's approximately 49 million, isn't it? So after, and by the year, if, if this growth rate continues like this, by the year um, 2000, we'll have about 49 million um, domain hosts, right? Okay, so in our textbook, it asks us to, you know, come up with a formula and also figure out the number in the year 2005. I'm going to do a little bit backwards. I'm going to do the year 2005 first, and then I'm going to do the formula. So let's figure out what it will be in the year 2005. All right, so press pause on the video and try that yourself. Okay, so 2005 is 10 years, 10 years later than 1995, isn't it? So we, we start with our 8.2 million internet domain hosts in 1995. And each year it increases by one, we times it by 1.43 to get the increase. And then the next year times it by 1.43 again. And then, you know, I'm just going to write them out here for fun. 1.43, 1.43, 1.43 1 would be three years later, because it's three of them. And then times by 1.43, that would be four years later, and so on. And so, after 10 years, it's 1.43 times itself 10 times, or 1.43 to the power of 10, right? And let's plug that in the calculator. The power of 10. And we get 293.2. So we get 293.2, and so on. And that, listen, I, I don't like we totally need to round this round the answer to the nearest million it says in the book but I mean of course like don't you think 1.43 was just completely made up yeah it was it was it was kind of made up I mean this is already rounded I would guess you know just like like and come on it's like websites in the world like of course it's rounded I mean this is not this cannot possibly be the exact number I mean and who knows what it was anyway and but it, it's an approximation, so we're using that formula to to approximate. Right, so they're definitely these these numbers at the end make no sense. Like, right? but so the point about this class is I want you to always think about what do these numbers actually mean, and like what's what's a sensible way to round this. So I would actually say you know three hundred million. I would, that's how I would round. Now the book asks us to the nearest million, so we'll do that. Two ninety-three million. But if it was me, I would just say about three hundred million or so. You know, give or take twenty million or something like that, right? Because it's ten years later, and who knows what's going to happen in ten years, right? Um, of course, this is the past, so it's already happened. But but you get my point. So that's the answer on that. Now, what's the formula? So let's get the formula where it says. Um, an exponential formula um, to give the number of hosts in terms of time. Well, let's say if our if it was um, uh, t, and let's say t is years after. Let's say sorry, t is years um, after 1995. Okay. So if t was years after 95, so t is kind of like replacing, say, 10 or 5, what would the formula be? So if it was t years after 1995, how many domain hosts would we have? Well, we'd have 8.2, right, times 1.43 to the power of t, right? And that would be the formula, right? Okay, and so the other thing we didn't answer was, Find the percentage increase each year and explain why the number of hosts is an exponential function of time. The ex this per percentage increase each year, 1.43, look at that. Look at 1.43. What's the percentage increase each year, do you think? The decimal part of that is 0 0.43. What's 0 0.43 as a percentage? That's 43 over 100, isn't it? 
or 43%. Okay. Every year, the number of internet domain hosts is increasing by 43%. Okay. So this is why it's a we have an exponential function because we're increasing by 43% each year. Okay. Um, so remember the linear function is where we're kind of adding on a number each year. The exponential function is where we're multiplying by one point the interest rate, right? Or the exponential function looks like this. You know, the number you start with, let's say a times one plus the interest rate to the power of t. Remember that? So that's what an exponential function looks like. You start with the starting number, one plus the interest rate, and then t is the number of years or hours or weeks or whatever. The so it's it, uh, after, right?